Is GPU pricing and availability getting any better? And when will this nightmare end? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by CDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 35% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. The date is November 2021, and at this point, it has been well over a year since the RTX 3080 was originally released, and in that time, we have been suffering from major shortages and price hikes when it comes to GPUs, leaving a lot of gamers with little to no option when it comes to upgrading their graphics card or building a new PC. However, now that it's November in 2021, you know, I have things this month finally started to improve, or are they actually still getting even worse? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that because just recently over on Twitter, the account 3dcenter.org once again released a new chart showing at least in Germany what the pricing and availability has been looking like, and they've been tracking this thing for quite some time, so there's a lot of data points to look at here, and it covers all the way back from January of 2020 all the way to November of 2021. So let's go ahead and take a look at this chart and discuss whether or not things have improved, and then we'll take a look at eBay pricing to see if things in the US have improved on that front, and finally we'll wrap up by me giving you guys my thoughts on when things are going to start to improve and when they probably will completely improve, allowing you to buy GPUs finally at their MSRP once again. So taking a look at this chart here, we can see that back in October, things were starting to climb once again. In fact, they started climbing back in August and continued to climb all the way until October 31st. And then if we take a look at the latest data point here in November 21st, we can see that while GPU prices for Nvidia definitely did continue to climb an additional 7%, which is unfortunate to see here. Now, keep in mind, this is just in Germany, so this is not gonna be 100% reflective of what you're going to see in the US, although I have noticed that they have been very, very similar here. We can see that on the AMD side, apparently things went from 201% all the way down to 190%, whereas Nvidia is at 195% of the MSRP. So it looks like at least in Germany, AMD cards have started to reduce in price, which is good to see. However, you know, just under two times the price is still definitely nowhere near good enough uh, for me to recommend that you guys go out and buy these unless of course you absolutely need them or if you're just sick of waiting at this point but taking a look at this chart there's actually two other things I want to look at that are really really interesting here and the other two data points that I want to look at are first of uh, the availability which we can see that um, it actually has continued to stay relatively strong we had a little bit of a dip in October however it looks like it's starting to improve once again and the other interesting data point is they did actually add in the ethereum price now and interestingly enough and I think actually to nobody's surprise, we can see here uh, that from beginning to end, the pricing of GPUs is very closely related to the pricing of Ethereum, and they only started to slightly, you know, come apart uh, around sometime in July, where the pricing of Ethereum went way, way up. However, the pricing of GPUs only went up by a little bit, but overall, yes, it looks like, you know, when Ethereum goes up in price, so do GPUs, at least in general. But if that wasn't depressing enough for you guys, now let's go ahead and move on to eBay, because here's where things things get really interesting and this is going to be looking at actually US prices here so we're not going to be dealing with any of those you know shady European currencies here no we're talking about the all American US dollar and so taking a look at the RTX 3080 uh, LHR version first because this is going to be what a lot of gamers are going to be looking for unfortunately guys it looks like you know a, a while ago when I looked at this it was kind of going for around maybe $1400 uh, maybe a little bit more unfortunately right now it looks like it's going for $1,550. Uh, realistically, that's about how much you can buy them for uh, when you're talking about, you know, sorting them by buy it now and then by lowest price. This is basically the lowest price you're going to get out of an RTX 3080, and that is still way too high. We're talking about over twice the price that the RTX 3080 MSRP is, and that is definitely not good. But if you think that's bad, if you take a look at the non-LHR variant or the version that has no Ethereum mining locks in place, that thing is still sitting 
sitting at around 2,000 US dollars, which is just absolutely ridiculous. However, there hasn't really been too much of a change in price when it comes to this uh, version of the card. It's kind of been $2,000 for quite some time. So it looks like, uh, like I thought it might happen, the actual cards that gamers are trying to buy did increase in price slightly, likely to the increase in holiday demand. Now, taking a look at the RTX 3070, another card a lot of gamers are going to be looking for. The LHR variant is going for around $1,050. Once again, it looks like we're talking about probably about a $100 increase from the last time. I looked at this, so that's not good. And then once again, similarly to the RTX 3080 non-LHR, the 3070 non-LHR is stayed pretty stable at around 1400 US dollars or well over two times the price, which again, if you're a gamer, is just absolutely ridiculous. And finally, looking at the RX 6700 XT, which I have been tracking for some time over on eBay, as you know, a lot of gamers are gonna be looking at this card as well. Well, it looks like it's going for around $950, and this is the biggest oof out of all three of these cards, because the 6700 XT, not too long ago, for a, quite some time, was actually going for around $700 over on eBay for various different models. So seeing them, again, once again, like this is the cheapest you can buy it on eBay, for about $950. That is just absolutely outrageous, and I definitely would not recommend that you pick up this graphics card. But now let's go ahead and wrap this video up with when will this madness end? When will we finally get some sort of respite? When will we finally be able to buy some sort of graphics card without crying in a corner for over a week? Well, you know, honestly, guys, um, I think some of you aren't going to like this. Some of you might be a little bit surprised and think I'm a little bit optimistic, but I do think that the GPU pricing isn't going to get any better whatsoever in 2021 because holiday demand is going to stay high. However, I do believe that at some point in quarter one of 2022, it will slowly, and I do mean slowly, start to improve. So it's not going to get better completely by 2022 Q1. But if you take a look at the decrease in holiday demand that's likely going to happen, the shipping fiasco getting probably a little bit sorted by then as well as an increase in supply coming from Nvidia and AMD which is also likely going to happen and you have Intel releasing their GPUs in Q1 of 2022 as well as Nvidia releasing potentially a TI refresh or super refresh with their cards and maybe even AMD doing some sort of refresh in Q1 as well we'll just have to wait and see on that one um, with all those new products and an increase in supply coming I do think that you are going to see a slight improvement start to happen at some point in Q1 of 2022 of course as well uh, at some point in 2022 2022, probably mid 2022, uh, GPU mining is probably going to s at least a little bit reduce in, in terms of popularity. Now, are people going to be selling their cards all over eBay? I don't think that's going to be the case. However, them buying up cards may actually start to reduce as it looks like Ethereum, at least for now, is planned to go proof of stake at some point in 2022, meaning that all that extra hashing power that's currently being held in Ethereum is going to be moved to all the other coins, making them a lot less profitable. Also meaning that, yes, it's probably going to make less and less sense to continue to buy up more and more GPUs if you are going to be mining some sort of cryptocurrency. So with that being said, when will things completely be better? When will you be able to buy that card? Well, honestly, uh, just, you know, taking into account all these various different factors, if nothing else changes and everything goes how uh, we think it's going to go and, and Ethereum moves to proof of stake in 2022, well, I think that at some point between Q4 of 2022 and maybe, you know, if we're unlucky, Q1 or even worse, Q2 of 2023, you will finally see it completely resolve itself. As more fabs start to come online, more players enter the arena as well as, you know, mining cryptocurrency starts to reduce. But we'll have to wait and see. Maybe these new cards are going to be absolute cryptocurrency monsters, and that'll absolutely ruin everything. But hey, guys, let's keep our hopes up and hope that at some point in 2022, things will completely resolve themselves, and you'll finally be able to buy that RTX 3080, or at that point, RTX 4080, for its MSRP, assuming that the MSRP is going to be reasonable. But hey, that's just what I think. When do you think the GPU situation? Situation is finally going to resolve itself. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.